Hey, what's up, guys? It's Michael McAllister here from Empower LO. I am uh, in my hotel room, actually, in San Diego, where I am staying for a week for a little bit of work, a little bit of pleasure. I got the family here with me. Uh, mostly work, if we're being honest, though. Um, but yeah, we're here, and I've got your Go High Level weekly breakdown, and it's coming right up, so check it out. All right, first up, we have new filters for viewing conversations. So when you're looking at conversations, uh, typically this is gonna happen like when you are trying to monitor your inbound messages that are coming in. Um, maybe you've got a lot of automations going out. Well, now you have the ability to filter by uh, a last message direction. So if you wanna take a look and see, all right, let me see all of the uh, all of the conversations where the last message direction was inbound. So this would be an example of where you might've missed a, a, a message that came in. Now you can filter out all of the other conversations and only see the conversations where the last message direction was inbound. Again, potentially identifying where you're dropping the ball. Uh, the other way, the other filter that they added besides last message direction is last message types and this and the two options for this are manual and automated so again another way that you could potentially exclude an entire subset of conversations based on automations that are going out and be able to identify conversations where you potentially dropped the ball or uh, for example if you wanted to check and identify uh, any conversations where the last message direction was outgoing and it was a manual message, these are conversations where you potentially could follow up. So, you know, maybe they didn't respond to you and then you never followed up after that. This is another uh, use case for this. So this is really cool, especially for those of you that have a high volume of leads coming in or a high volume of automations going out. All right, next up, we have an update to the calendar functionality inside of High Level. We talked about this a lot on our last Zoom room. The appointment scheduling functionality, basically the Calendly replacement functionality is another way that you can look at this. So if you're using Calendly right now, High Level gives you the ability to basically replace that and just get rid of one more tool that's in your tool belt and replace it with High Level. So we love it. They now give you the ability to allow staff selection. So when you're configuring a calendar, you have a toggle that says allow staff selection or not. So this is on the round robin calendar type. So use cases for this would be like if you have you want to set up one calendar link with your loan partner, your LOA, and you all there, and it's a loan communication calendar link. So any uh, any questions about a loan and process, you allow people to schedule at this calendar link, and then that would make it so that your your clients could choose whether they want to talk to you directly or they want to talk to the next available person because it's pressing or they have a question about a document that they need to upload or whatever it is. So I think this is pretty cool. I definitely see. A, a, you know, a few use cases for it right out of the gates for loan officers. So I wanted to share that with you guys here. All right, last up, we have uh, just some minor enhancements to the social planner. None of them are even worth explicitly saying. They're just enhancements to the connection and reconnection process. Not that big of a deal. Why? Because most loan officers aren't using the social planner. And if I'm going to take time to talk about the social planner, I'm not going to talk about those minor updates. I'm going to spend that time lobbying for you to use the social planner. Social planner is sick. The ability to connect your LinkedIn profile, Facebook account, Facebook groups that are managed by you, your Instagram account, TikTok, all of these different social media sites you can put in one centralized location. So if you want to hire a marketing assistant or you want to leverage an assistant that you already have for marketing, now they have one central location where you can connect all of your social media profiles and they can take one piece of content and, and tweak it a little bit, repurpose it for the next platform and the next platform and so on. So there is my pitch for the social planner. Uh, check it out if you're not already it's inside your high level account under marketing that's it for this week's ghl weekly breakdown we had a huge update last week not so huge this week thank you guys so much for watching we have our weekly zoom room remember every tuesday 11 o'clock mountain time it's getting more and more engagement which makes it even more valuable even if you don't think you have anything to jump in and talk about we end up getting some stuff to talk about for sure as far as things that can help benefit you and, and your business and, and maybe ideas that, that you wouldn't have ever had before until then and until next week's jhl weekly breakdown thank you so much for watching we'll see you at the top